back to another exciting podcast, and today we're going to be talking about uh, lots of things. We're talking about E3, we're talking about uh, Brady's Dino Adventure, and whatnot. Um, right now, Rodrigo's fucking climbing over my couch for some reason. There sure. he is. Are you good? You yeah. Good? I'm, All right. No, I'm feeling great. So, who feeling saw like anything you? from E3? I, I'm just going to tell you now at home, none of us really watched it very exclusively. So don't that's, expect this to be like bad. IGN. I saw a blurb about blur. Some what was it? The thing that that game that Bungie's making. The thing. Dyn- Dynasty. Uh, Destiny. Destiny. Des- yeah, something about I that. Heard I heard. I heard that Destiny was kind of like a Call of Duty Halo mix, basically in, in the way of uh, connect like physics worked. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming there's going to be like looking down the sights, like how Call of Duty has. Basically, what that means to me because I don't know what that would mean otherwise, because Coming from Bungie, they're not gonna have it be like a, anything else related to Call of Duty besides oh you're looking down the sights like you do on Call of Duty. Well, like when you use your powers, like you remember how uh, the jetpack, the jetpack, the uh, boost. Yeah, the boost. You could see your person in third person. When you did I, mean, I didn't see anything about Dan- Dyn- Dynasty. Why do I keep calling it Dynasty? Destiny. What? Destiny. Can and Nintendo. Was awesome at E3. Yeah, I don't know if anybody else saw that, but everything I've, they released. I've was heard mixed reviews about that, but fantastic. <laughs> Jeez, you're you're clearly uh, pleasantly like enjoying that. I don't know. Two <laughs> new Zelda game. That is that. Yeah, all that, that matters. Isn't it open world too? <clears throat> yeah, well, that actually looks really good. Back. Yeah, all right. I, I guess back to the of time. I guess the reason I'm so excited about it is because I did doubt it. I did doubt the Wii U a lot. I mean, I I really did, but um, they. Also like brought up. like Bilbo Baggins though, it came <laughs> back and you were never more wrong. Yolo Swaggins. <laughs> Yolo Swaggins. Um, I did. I noticed that that the new Zelda game looks like it's a mix of like older Zelda games with like that <laughs> kind of the bright colors that Wind Waker had, but it's not as cartoony. Mm-hmm. But it still had that like people really like that, so we're gonna make it look. A little bit like that, but more like a traditional Zelda game. Yeah, if they made it more like Ocarina of Time and gave it the uh, Skyward Sword color palette, I'd be all over that. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. The color palette, like I said, was, was that kind of still more oh, Wind Waker. Sorry. sorry. Yeah. What was for the Wii? Was it Wind Waker? Was uh, it the... Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was yeah Wii. I heard the new one, um, the new Zelda, like it was less orderly. You you can you can go wherever you want, and to me that's awesome because that's like open how the world. Are. Yeah, I mean that's what you get to reiterate it. <laughs> but I mean it is the first time we do see that for a long time. Yeah, for Zelda. Right? Yeah, the other one that we saw, I know that me and Brady watched stuff on this was the Advanced Warfare, which is the next oh, installment the... in Call of Duty. Call of Duty, yeah. and it definitely. <laughs> I've said this many times, it does, it's not Call of Duty, it's something else. It's just a whole new thing, because they're like, have you seen this, Rodrigo? Have you seen anything of it? I saw, like, a screenshot. It's it. like, they have fucking, um, like, the semi-powered, like, mech suits. Yeah. That are, older, you know, they're, they're, they're exoskeletons, they're not mech suits. Yeah. And it looks like Elysium and, and things like that, kind of. They got the hollow, the holographic uh, ammo counters on the guns, too. I didn't, know, I didn't notice that, but it does. Yeah. It does like mechanics from so many games that you, you're like, oh, it's this, this, this together. It's like, well, no, and now it's a whole new thing. When you have that different mechanics, it's really different. And once again, that's another one of those things that people are, have been like raging about. Like they don't know if they like it or they're gonna hate it or they'll get used to it. I mean, Call of, people already rage about Call of Duty anyway. Mm-hmm. Of course. And I'm staring at today. I, I mean, I really didn't like ghosts in the way of, the, like, the, the campaign was okay, but, like, they people say that it's the same thing, like, how um, Madden is the same thing every year, and they say that Call of Duty is the same thing every year, but, I mean, it's not, because, like, I'm not good at ghosts, and I'm at least moderately good at uh, Modern Warfare 3, is and here right? I am in ghosts, like, Aren't they made by different companies, though? No, no, no. Ghosts and um, Modern Warfare 3 are made by the same people. But they feel um, different. Yeah, they feel a lot different. It's 
So I don't know what people are really on about because because yeah, Ghost is like it's slower, like pulling out the guns and doing all the things still slower than me than Modern Warfare. Yeah, and I think that's another. I think that's because they're trying to like make it more like Battlefield. Hmm. <laughs> what? Whoa, Brady! <laughs> Brady doing the. Pssst over here. <laughs> I Most, am a PC gamer, and Brady's a part we of own this, Battlefield. Well, Brady's a part of like that echelon of people that definitely have nothing good to say about Call of Duty. Call of Duty's on PC too. I don't like Call of Duty. Yeah, the last good Call of Duty was Call of Duty Two: Big Red One. I've never played that. How long ago did that come out? <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> More than that. I think it came out in like maybe two thousand and three. Oh man. Yeah. No, Big Red One came out. Uh, it was like. An in between release. It came out right when 360 was coming out, so they set they had it set for that generation of game and the previous right? generation. Yeah, because okay. it I is on, on Xbox 360. I played it on PlayStation 2. Huh. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Yeah. They had it on that, and they had. I know the 360 version was different than the Xbox version, and the Xbox version I think was like the PlayStation version. Gotcha. Yes. Maybe that was another. <laughs> no, I think, that was, I think it was Big Red One. Well, Robert clearly doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, I, I, I have like a vague memory of reading an article on it, but yeah, it was a long time ago. It was like back when we were all still probably in early high school. Yeah. What like, was that game that we just watched like that? Evolve. Game? Evolve. Oh my gosh. That looks crazy. Can't wait. I'm very like, I guess since I've always been the casual gamer, I'm looking at that. I'm like, I don't know. Am I gonna like that? What's it about? I guess shoot monsters or whatever like to me. Yeah, oh. it looks freaking awesome. And it's made by Turtle Rock Studios and they're making it for Valve. It's right. like Monster Hunter, only a first person shooter, and you can also play as the monsters. But it looks sure. different than most first person shooters. Like yeah. like I saw it like it looked like me- like almost like Metroid to me. Yeah. Just the way me too. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you guys say that and I don't know what that like is. When, <laughs> like when you're the monster, you're like you have to when you start out you're just like a little tiny like not really tiny, but like a normal like animal type esque. And you have to go and eat other monsters so you can like hurry up and evolve into like a bigger monster. At but at the same time you have like other people trying to kill you. And you just have to keep just like eating and put the the wildlife is also like it could be like normal or it could be hostile towards you because they also mentioned like uh, the other players were like like searching for the monster and they got attacked by like giant plants and like they got eaten by one or something crazy like that. So like so something like natural selection kind of something like that. Like the worlds are like randomly generated. Okay, but it's not it's not the strategy. Strategy because I'm, I'm there, there's strategy, not, there's okay, a lot of strategy because it sounds a lot like natural selection, but natural selection is a first person shooter. And uh, oh, I thought you were meaning like actual it's like a, natural it's selection, like, a, <laughs> like general. I didn't mean like a game, <laughs> there's a no, game of natural that. selection is like a combination shooter and uh, real time strategy game. Cool. It seemed kind of like there was a it's a team v1, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So the monster is really badass, basically, you have to like be formulating how your attack plan to defeat all these people. Oh, so the monster, only one person gets to be the monster? Yeah. But okay, they so might, like the hidden they probably the... might add more game types to be more monsters yeah. at one time. That'd be more ridiculous than... What's, Brady, what's that uh, game mode that's kind of like that on Team Fortress? Oh, uh, uh, versus Saxton Hale. Saxton Hale, yeah, so sounds that's, like that. That's right? what Rod and I always play on TF2. Yeah, yeah that's for fun. Basically, it's 30 people against one. <laughs> what? And everybody's trying to kill like this super powered uh oh, okay, that makes more sense. one guy. It's like, he'll have, like yeah. 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 He'll have like thirty thousand health and everybody else will have like, you know, the standard one You know, it's it's what's really funny is they they you, you really can't make in a shooter like more game types than there already are. Cause like I said, like I really like Dominion on Halo Four and what is it? It's capture the it's King of the Hill. It's just King of the Hill only with multiple hills and bases. That's all it is. And you get power-ups whenever you capture a base intermittently. Well, actually, I was going to bring up Halo as an excellent point in that, is that Halo is like the one game where you really can make more game types. I guess you can. Because you could have... You just do it. Because I feel like like the hidden on uh, Gary's mod is just Juggernaut. Yeah, it's an all versus one. Yeah, Juggernaut, but... It's just a set of strength. He has stealth and speed. Yeah, I guess the most the most innovative thing I've seen on a first person game like that is like a de- like Death Run. 
where you run through an obstacle course. Death Run is so much fun. Death Run, I've only seen the Let's Play videos of it, like the ones that CNANners does. Yeah. And it just looks really unfair. It does. It, but, it is unfair. I mean, but, it, but it's totally like, that's new and interesting. And yeah. I think people like it because you're trying to fake out one guy, so you have a team of people trying to mess with one guy to get him to fuck up so you can get to the end. I mean, yeah, all those, uh, all those Gary's Mod ga like games kind of are at least somewhat innovative. Maybe not, I don't know, I think Trouble in Terrorist Town is a bit like the ship. The it's ship? A, yeah. What's the ship? It's, it's a really, it's an old Valve game back in the beginning of Steam, uh, back when they first launched Steam, and when Halo uh, Half-Life 2 came out. And it's basically the same thing as Trouble in Terrorist Town. You're like a bunch of these people at some kind of party on a cruise ship. Oh, like oh one... yeah, I've seen the ship. I've yeah. seen the ship. Yeah, yeah, like one person has to murder. You have like targets you have to murder. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's another game that's a little bit more different, though, because you take out targets, but some people are your targets, some people aren't your targets. And... So it's more like murder, like Gary's Mod murder. Only Yeah, only with like a bunch of rules. Yeah. Murder is another one of those games where it's like, what's going to happen? Well, it's gonna, I think that's what makes those games really fun, is they're so, like, team-based oriented. So I guess there really is only so far you can go with it, because pretty much most uh, most of those games are just kind of twists on yeah. other... I mean, you got Griff Ball. Types. What's Griff Ball? Oh, it's yeah. football, but with fucking hammers and shit. That's oh, all that is. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I think we've come. it's like we've come up with as many games as we can come up with. But are people going to quit mm. playing? Fuck oh, no. No. It's still fun every damn time. Yep. One of my very favorite multiplayer games is still, like, just any Halo. Like, Halo 3 or Reach. Like, the, the multiplayer in those games is so good. And you I can, didn't, if you I can didn't really care for together, Reach, but... I mean, I, I guess I was, I was a campaign I didn't care for in Reach. I right. rarely played the multiplayer. Oh, Reach. the multiplayer in Reach is so good because of Forge. Like, you can do so yeah. much. I think that was where where a lot of stuff really... I wish that, we, like, on Forge now, that you could find people's custom games on a game set and like stuff. Like, easier? Yeah, and I, I've seen, like, crazy custom games before, but I have no idea how to get to them on my 360. Yeah. Like, I've seen, like, a death run on Halo before. I think it was... It was Halo 3. So it was... No, no, it was, it was Reach. It was Reach, so... Um, you know, like, that might have been before the death run that existed on Gary's model, because I don't know when Gary's model came out. But... Oh, shit. It was a long, really long time ago. Really? Okay, well, never yeah. fucking mind about that. I was but... in 2005. <laughs> huh. Well, anyway, they, um... I feel like that was a little bit more fair on Halo, because you have so many more people, so it's a lot harder for the for death to get you. Yeah. Well, like, one of the old, uh games that we had was we took the Forge World and Reach connected everything. Yeah. And, and we played Snipers, which was really cool. Kind of sounds like a an Arma type game. Like, like not Arma, but like Battle Royale on yeah, Arma. Yeah, Battle Royale. And I'm like, I would so be down to play that when you, know, you have like a bunch of people playing mm -hmm. and you have like people you're playing with to try to win. Or like, like get far enough that you can just be fighting each other. What's... Okay, wait, what's Battle Royale in Arma? Battle Royale, Battle Royale. You just... Is it everybody it, versus everybody? It's everybody yeah. versus everybody, but you might as well team up. Okay, so, so you form temporary alliances and all that. Yeah. Um, everyone I've ever seen play that with a temporary alliance still hasn't won. Like, the, yeah. no one on their alliance won, because they're still... They just die, because it's hard. But Arma's hard. Yeah. So, I mean, on Halo, I think it'd be a little bit more fun. Maybe a little bit yeah. more forgiving. Arma's... Arma's a lot like, it's about as close to the military simulation as it gets, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. As far as, far as like, foot combat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's still, like, the reality of it's a little, like, questionable, yeah. but still, it's very unforgiving. It's unforgiving enough that people can call it, maybe, a, a combat simulator. Because it's closer maybe. to combat simulation than Battlefield or Call yeah. of Duty. It's definitely sure. the closest of what's currently out there. Yeah. Like the norm, you mean? Yeah, so like, what? it's the closest to act like real life. Okay. Because you have, I mean, you have to like maintain your character, like you have to eat and sleep and such. 
get to do all these things. I mean, well, not in Battle Royale, you don't have to really eat and drink as much because it's gotcha. a, it, is, it does force you to um, play a certain way to where you eliminate people. There's not enough time to do to, to die of thirst, to die of hunger, because after a certain time passes, and you, it's basically they drop you on an island, you parachute in, and you can die under canopy. Like, you can collide with stuff. You can collide with other people under canopy and die, and you're, you're out of the game. You're, you die before the game even basically starts. So you have to land, and then after that amount of time goes by where you're just running around, you're supposed to be collecting items and weapons and shit. Oh, I think I've never seen this. That's you have to go to a certain area where, like, you're like everyone outside the blue circle will die. Will like start losing health, and you have a limited, you have you know time limit to get there. So then everyone on the map, on an island, has to go to the blue circle. So they're kind of forced to, against each other in that circle. And there's also like random bombing areas and shit. So there's like area effects that you have to watch out for. Okay. And yeah, so it's it's pretty. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I was watching a live stream on that the other day. I didn't realize what it was. I thought it was another game type on like Daisy or something. But... Why would it be a game type? Day- Daisy is a game type. Because it was, like on. had the exact same like physics engine and like it, the... it is. Daisy yeah. came from Arma. Yeah, oh. Daisy was. A I didn't. Big, I didn't uh, know that. I yeah. Yeah. God. <laughs> I bought Arma too to play Daisy. So embarrassed. I, <laughs> like you, the Daisy, uh, it used to be a mod for Arma too. Before okay. we came to standalone. Okay. Like, I have 100, 100 or so hours in Daisy. The, the standalone or the. No. Arm, Arma 2. Oh, okay. Yeah. That game is fucking hard. Like, the best is if you can find, a, like, a city bus and just drive up the mountain. Yeah, like, and it's the best way to survive. I was watching it, and this one person, like, they parachute down, and they found, like, an ATV, and they're like, oh, sweet. And they got on, they're driving around, they found this house, and there was, like, weapons in it. And they got the weapons, got back, and, like, right when they walked out the door, this guy just jumps off the ATV and just drives off. <laughs> it's like, it's like, shit, no! And, like, they went to get the gun out, and there was no ammo in the gun. They're just yep. like, what the fuck? What's the point of this gun? <laughs> so, I mean, that's, like, that's, that's armor for you. Yeah. You gotta find ammo, you gotta, it's not necessarily gonna be in the same place. Yeah. But, which kind of... I mean, I imagine if I find a weapon somewhere, there'd be like, at least a clip in it. Mm-hmm. Like it was, it was Man. pretty funny. Like that was pretty like highlight status. Uh, I'm really down to play that game. Arma you know, or AZ? Like both of them. Cool. Yeah. I I probably want to play Arma more because it gives me like a set time to play a game. Because mm. it's I mean it's a long game though. But it's like there's a clear objective and shit. And in Day Z, I'm like, what's the point? Just run around. Just run around and live. And it's like, well, it's a lot more fun than it sounds. It's, be- well, it's actually yeah, I know what you mean. I probably, other people. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'd be. I'd probably play it, but still, yeah. like, I would enjoy Battle Royale more. Like that was the one that I saw out of Arma, and I was like, that's the game I want to play. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching. Uh, I forgot it. What's her stream name? Little Miss Piss. That's where I was watching it. <laughs> That's that's her name. I just no. Okay, that's, okay. I like I forgot who I found her from, but I was just like, oh, go go to this uh, streamer. She's on. Is right she now. British? No. Totally. totally <laughs> I American. thought she was gonna totally British. No, totally American. But yeah, it's a pretty good stream. Really yeah. down. Yeah. Well, has anyone got anything else E three game related? Oh um. They announced Shrek was going to be in the new Smash Bros. Look, look, look. Oh, I, oh it's God. all over now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, uh, I'm not convinced. Because this is something that Jake had brought to us just now, tonight. And, like, the things that we saw on it were not, were not, be- I'm not believing them enough. Like, I don't think Shrek is going to be on it. Tom, let me tell you something. <laughs> it was on the internet. It has to be true. Shrek is love, and Shrek is life. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that. I mean, does does he really belong, though? I mean, he's not... Yes. Whoa! End of argument. <laughs> Whoa. Would you I like for your life Jake, to be I think older? what you stumbled on here is that um, there's an internet culture with Shrek. <laughs> yeah. I, if I you haven't figured this. out that these trolly motherfuckers over here are 
maybe just trolling you. I, I good, mean, I know that you're the naive one on the channel. <laughs> Are you doubting wait, wait, our wait. Lord and Savior Shrek? <laughs> Shrek is a troll. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was an ogre. <laughs> ogre. Oh my god, he's an ogre, yeah. Do you not know what a troll is? Ogres are like onions. <laughs> oh man. They have layers. I'm so out of the loop. Do you know what a troll is? <laughs> like a like online troll? Yes. Yes. Do you not think that this is what's happening to you right now? No. Look at them! Oh, okay. Look at them! <laughs> But, but on the video, the, the guy was explaining why... Did you see gameplay footage of Shrek in Ma Smash Brothers? I saw pictures of him. You saw gameplay. pictures! You can Photoshop I that can shit. make pictures of fucking um, Sergeant Johnson from Halo in Smash Brothers. Wait! <laughs> on that, we need to talk about if Sergeant Johnson was in Super Smash Brothers. What? What's and it? continue. What? <laughs> I also, you know, I could photo, I could Photoshop any any character you wanted into a picture of Smash Bros. But you're not telling me you, you couldn't see it though. No. I yes. Mean, he he would look. He would have like I picture he would have like a, a Wario move set, and that's that's realistic I, to me. Is Wario in Smash Bros. Yes. I bet I bet you're yeah. willing to believe that. On 9-11, airplanes didn't crash into the World Trade Center. <laughs> hey, hey, they hey, didn't hey, do look. it! They didn't do it! Uh -uh. They uh, totally did it. This is Dude, time it's people trying trying to give airplanes a bad name. I don't believe <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 Fucking racist. I feel like this is probably gonna... If it is legit, it's gonna be another fucking solid snake moment where it just doesn't fit. It's not gonna be... If I, it, I didn't really. like solid snake. Yeah, same here. Just has, <laughs> just has guns and rocket launchers and I'm just gonna... Hey, hey. Grenade! Like, you just blow up, and it's like, this isn't right. Sounds like a porn star name. Solid <laughs> Snake. Solid Snake. Solid Snake. Want to see my Solid Snake? <laughs> Not as much as Otacon. Big Boss. Otacon. <laughs> Liquid I, uh, Snake. I brought this pizza for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> snake! Snack. Snack. Just think about that. Just think about that in a, in a porno version. Snake! Otacon. <laughs> Otago! <laughs> Where are we going? Otago! <laughs> well. <laughs> Obviously, I'm the only one who's played Metal Gear Solid. No, no, no I got that. No, I got that. <laughs> it was just inauspiciously quiet. Right? <laughs> Has anyone got anyone, anything else? Anything else? Um, I guess another thing about Super Smash Brothers is I haven't seen Captain Falcon yet. And if Captain Falcon isn't in Super Smash Bros., I will not be purchasing it. Well, I will kill myself, that's, actually. You've heard it here first. Yes. You've heard okay. it here first. Ready will not end. be purchasing Smash Bros. 8, 3, whatever. I don't know. Well, oh, other news on, sorry. No, I'm, gone. I'm, I'm done making my jokes. What is it? <laughs> well, another news, I found out that Super Smash Bros. is coming out three weeks earlier than the American release. So they're going to be getting all the shit. And all the leaks are going to be coming out, so Japan? you might... Yeah, Japan's... You didn't fail to mention that. <laughs> they, you know. No, I don't know. Yeah, who's they? they? I made the assumption. A racist? Thank you. Too. <laughs> I did too, but I... I Whatever. <laughs> but, so, if he's If we ending... don't rip you apart, Biafra, everyone online will. That guy, Biafra, what? doesn't know where it's coming out. They're coming out everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Well, Brady, since they're going to be leaking stuff, he might be a hidden character, and there you go. I think he has been in the the other three games anyway, so... Yeah, he's been in the game too long for them not to put him. Yeah, he's right? an it'd original like, character. It'd be like not having, like, Kirby or Link, or fucking Mario. I mean... What if they took Mario out? Who cares? I'd probably... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't care. It's yeah. like, oh, whatever. I, I hope they take his, his water thing off of this one and make oh, it back to his original. Wait, I thought they just... Sunshine was... I thought they just put that in there for Super Smash or whatever. For Mario, yeah, but for for Brawl, um, his be down move was this water cannon. Did it go away? It, it does go away. Oh, eventually. then I don't know. <laughs> did, you, did you play Super uh, Super Mario Sunshine? Yes, I did. Okay, but as long as we got that out of the way, we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where the the cannons from. I was like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> it just messed me up because in Melee, his be down is completely different. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I liked his Melee. God forbid games better. change on you. Characters you can you me. can forming 
<laughs> well, I never Everything played Mario. Everything the same, motherfucker. What I, okay. want, what I want is Roy to be back in there. Why? Because he was my favorite character. I like. I, I kicked so much ass with Roy. Are those those guys from the little game Fire game? Emblem? Oh, yeah, with mind. the swords and the capes and the Japanese the... looking. We tried to we tried to fight for their friends. We tried to watch. That was some racist shit right there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Just send hate, hate mail. Send it to uh, Rodrigo Casas at Casas dot com. Whoa. Anyway, Whoa. Um, so. <laughs> bring it. Anyway, um, please don't bring it. Can I be on that domain as well? I want to be Brady Ian at Rodrigo Casas dot com. You got it, buddy. Oh, well. Smash Bros. Uh, Sergeant Johnson as a playable character. Yeah. I heard he, about that one, actually. He's got that boot. Ooh, like, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the Halo, like, um, in, NCPs, like, or NPCs, like, kick. Yeah. Like, uh, there's, like, this one little thing in the... Like that, that should That's be a his move. move. <laughs> Smash. <laughs> it still kills everything. Yep. <laughs> on the real though, um, I would really like Sora and Riku from Kingdom Hearts to be in Smash. That would be cool. It really need to be. Yeah, Sora um, would be nice. Long overdue. You know what? I've never played very much Smash because I suck at it. But also, it sounds like what Jake really wants is a lot of fan service out of Smash. And I gotta tell you. Based on everything that he wants out of it, I'm kind of glad they're not giving it to him just because I don't know what that game would be like if they just did so much fan service. They do Smash do fan is service. Fan service. Yeah. I know. So like, I know, but Solid he wants... Snake, you got, you got, uh... Sonic. Mario. You got Sonic, yeah. You got Wii Fit Trainer. Anyway. Yeah, you got, and you got, uh... God, what's the only guy for Samurai see. Goro. God forbid I have here's, high expectations in one. Here's what I'm saying. Here's <laughs> what I'm saying. Now, it too. already is fan service. If they fan serviced it up anymore, that game would, would just be, be a another debacle. Smash Bros. <laughs> it would be it would be Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Two, Smash Racer versus Smash Brothers. No, I think that's the name. I think it would out. be like there is a game that's uh, I heard about it at uh, friends with the ASIN, and they said there's a game called Everything versus Everything, <laughs> and it's any character ever been made that's like melee type fighting games, and they just throw them in there. So you get like Goku versus whoever the fuck, and they just just go at it. Goku yeah. versus Naruto? Yeah. Cool. That, mm, any be. any character. Just they the there's in there. Yeah, how do they get the rights to I that? don't. Yeah, it's that's... Japan. They do what they want. They... That's so not true. Wow. Their, their fair use racist. laws are a lot worse than ours. <laughs> yeah, but still. That wasn't racist. That was extremely racist. Was no, it's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to figure out how it was <laughs> yeah. racist. But so still, like, that, that's an actual out. game. Like, you, I mean, I, I've always wanted there to be a, a giant, like, shooter crossover with, like, a bunch of different <laughs> franchises that I don't think is ever going to be possible for licensing rules. It's like, I really, like, want to see, like, Samus and fucking Master Chief back-to-back fighting off monsters. Dude, have you not seen that, that uh, CGI that was made? I have not. Uh, Samus and Master Chief fighting? No. <laughs> I, mean, I also awesome. want to, like, to have, like, you know, like, we'll watch um, Dom from Gears of War, more like Baird from Gears of War in there, and, like, um... Bob, Cap, Bob Cap, Bob. Captain Price from Call of Duty. Who's Captain Bob? <laughs> no, Bub and Bob. Who's Bub and Bob? Who from Bubble Bob, Bob and... the little dinosaurs. What the fuck is that? We tried that? to play that last night. <laughs> Sucked. No. We didn't play that last night. No, me and Brent Fred. Oh, you played it? Most it's awesome. Family. Shut up. You need fucking the guy from Metal of Honor, Allied Assault. I think Versus his the guy from Counter-Strike? Yeah. Sure. You know, there's like eight Counter- guys from Counter Strike. What if you just threw a? This is not really stupid, but Jack Three in there. Cause use all the guns for no apparent yeah, reason. It's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I like Jack Gordon Three. Freeman. Gordon, Gordon Freeman. Freeman. Yeah, Gordon Freeman. Versus Gordon from yeah. Gordon from it. From it. From it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. I've never really. I'm. I, I was like, just put Zelda in there, just for the Zelda. Put fucking Link in there, just for the hell of it. Put Zelda in there too. Why yeah, not? put Zelda yeah. in there too. She's put a badass. The, put the sometimes. motorcycle rider from that one game. Oh, Trials? Uh, <laughs> no. It's like <laughs> it's like the one where the dude's brother gets killed right at the beginning of the game. Oh, you talk, you're talking about... No, no, no. He's talking about um, Ride to Hell. Yeah, Ride, Ride to, hell. to Hell. That guy needs to be in this game. <laughs> Wait, way to just shit on our... On our, like... I don't know, fandom experience we're trying to have. Who plays <laughs> that guy? Yeah, this is turning out to be a pretty cool game. Let's start <laughs> getting, picking up these rights and developing this shit. Fund it. Yeah. Oh. We should make another Road Rash game. 
No. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's the best. Basically, you're driving along the highway and you just beat the shit out of other people on other motorcycles. As I, okay. like, right. as I turn my head in confusion. <laughs> you guys have never played Road Rash? No. no. This is disappointing. Do you have it? Is it anything on Game like Boy? This E3 uh, conversation really is like just turned into like, what games can we make of badass? <laughs> <laughs> we should yeah. make a game where Tom runs around and beats the shit out of people. And like, I mean... <laughs> I was gonna be like, you mean real life? But <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I didn't want it. <laughs> Just be an expansion to Postal. <laughs> that, jo- that joke is lost upon me. Postal yeah, three, full Tom. <laughs> <laughs> is Postal a game where it was about a postal worker that just went crazy and starts killing people? It's just about a dude who goes postal. He just fucking starts oh. going nuts and killing. Well, you can. You can actually. You can kill Gary Coleman. Yeah, you can. The whole Rest thing the about the game, you know, I'm doing repeats. air quotes here, is that you can play the game and not be violent at all. You can just because you're you're I, the object of the game is to do mundane everyday tasks like buy milk and like do, <laughs> yeah, just like run it's your real air. life simu- simulator. Let's yeah, it. it's a real life simulator that just does everything it can to make your life impossible and encourage you to go on a murderous rampage. <laughs> wow. But you don't have to. You don't have to. This sounds interesting. Yeah. What's this for? Uh, PC. It's pretty old and extremely controversial at the time. And on Steam. Yeah. yeah. It's like, but it's, it's you know, it's like GTA. Like I play GTA usually. Well, I have I, I make up my own mini games, but like a lot of them, I just don't kill people. Like the one game I play is Obey All Traffic Rules. <laughs> That's I hate game. the I hate the physics with, with driving in Grand Theft Auto games. Yeah, because yeah. it's just like, well, there's no way I can blend in. I'm just basically breaking the rules no matter what because the no rules one cares are, anyway. The rules are so hard to follow. Mm-hmm. It's not like real life. I I was playing that Forza game that you glimpsed me like we recorded it, and you're like, how can you not play this game? And like, it's just like driving. And I'm like, I don't drive my car. With an Xbox controller. <laughs> that is why I don't know how to drive a car in Forza. Yeah, I mean, Forza okay, yeah. I don't, I don't, it, is. I don't it takes a bit of practice to get used to it. But... I'm but, just, I'm just like, try to drive on the arrows, because that makes, that's what you're supposed to do to be better at it. And that, that's... I don't know what you're saying. On Forza, you can turn on help arrows. Yeah, it's it's like this is where you need to be when you're turning and jumping. Uh, yeah, and it's green when you need to accelerate, red when you need to brake. Oh. It's like training wheels. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> training wheels until you get the hang of driving in the game. What you do is But you, you can do it forever. You buy an El Camino, give it the most torque you can, and put the worst tires on it, and it just like you start it up and it just spins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um back I guess to like our E three thing. They had a new Halo trailer come out, right? Mm, I didn't see it. It's kind of. I mean, I don't know if the trailer is for Halo Five, or if it's for the Master Chief for yeah. the Master Chief collection, but it might be a collection of both somehow. Because like the mat, like because it has another character in the trailer and the Arbiter talking to him, right? But it has footage from like the remastered Halo Two. Oh. It. Yeah. So. They got this coming out, and um, I've heard some pretty outlandish um, things about what's going to happen in Halo 5. And have you seen the cover for... It's called Halo 5 Guardians, mm-hmm. if you haven't, if you didn't know this already. I remember the preview, like, last year. It wasn't called Guardians yet. They just they just released this game called Guardians. Really? Oh. But anyway, have you seen the, the artwork for the cover? No. It is... It says Halo 5 Guardians, and then there's a dude who's a new character. And he's like the center of the thing. And then there's another guy in the reflection, that's Master Chief. I don't know why it says Master Chief, but yeah. So mm. it seems like there's going to be a new playable character, much like in Halo 2, you go add the Arbiter. Mm-hmm. So here's the theory that I heard someone throw out, was you play as an antagonist to Master Chief, and you're hunting him down for whatever reason, and killing Master Chief off is an option. What? That's bullshit. And, like, I was thinking about this, and, like, and, and they explained how the development of Master Chief has been coming in Halo 4. He had a lot more dialogue, and, like, of course, people are bitching about it because it's like, 
He had feelings. Yeah, he well, had... yeah, people are bitching about it because of the, the overwhelming, like, Cortana and Master Chief dialogue, and it's like, people who play that are usually assholes, I guess, and they're like, oh, I don't care about the story. It's like, it's like, but then there's people like me who are like, I am, like, so fucking into that story. Yeah, like, I've read all that. the books except for maybe half of the Forerunner saga because it's really boring, like Rodrigo said. Yeah. It's really hard to get through the Forerunner saga, but none of the, you know, it's not really important to the the main overarching story. So, I, I mean, I've read the books, so I know Master Chief as a character. And here, when people also complain that Master Chief is a boring character, well, he wasn't supposed to be very interesting when you first picked it up. Like, Halo Combat Evolved was a game where you got a full immersion in this. And I don't know if they did it on purpose. It doesn't really matter if they did or not. They because did. you really got to feel like it was happening to you and everyone other the other characters were talking to you. I didn't even know that his name was John until I read the fucking books. Like, I had no idea that Master Chief was named John. And, like... When I was like, was beat the game and he's sitting there in the longsword fighter and takes off his helmet and you can't see him. I'm like, oh, well, I don't know what he really looks like. And my dad was sitting behind me. He's like, he's like, it's you. And, like my dad got it. I mean, I was in eighth grade, so of course I didn't get it. But like, I was like, that's pretty true. And then as it goes, you know, you hear him have more dialogue and stuff, and that's fine. It, you still get him developed. You read if you got involved, you get him developed as a character. And it's not something that just happens. You play as him as a character and live through his life. It happens directly to you, right? So here it is, Halo 5, more things happen. Now he himself is taking on a character of its own. It feels like something that you've nurtured. And I was like, if if they kill him in like Halo 5, it's gonna be like really intense. It's not just gonna be like how you kill the didact in four. Well, it was like, fucking grenade, bitch, and you're dead. Like, <laughs> it's going to be like this long, dramatic thing. And I realized that if that happens, I am probably going to literally cry. Like, this is something that I didn't realize it until this guy was talking about it. Um, if I knew the channel link that he was talking about, I'd give it, but I can't remember it. But I was like, if that happens... That is actually something. And it's like, it means something to me. And I didn't know it meant anything to me until he says it. Like, he told, he said that idea. And, and I was trying to think about that objectively. And I'm like, you know, story route, story wise, I think that might be a good move. I mean, coming from like someone that is an aspiring writer like myself, I'm like, that's interesting. And, you know. Yeah. Are oh are, are you are you are you getting butt hurt? Are you getting are you getting fan? You don't want Master Chief to die? Well, poor baby. Is that what you're gonna say? Look at you. No, actually. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> what are you gonna say? What are you no, gonna say? I was gonna say that. It did, okay, didn't isn't Halo set to be like a like up to about Halo Six or something like that? Yeah, it's a. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah they, they 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 have another you know uh trilogy coming out. Yeah. So it wouldn't it make more sense for. The chief to die at the end of the four, five, six trilogy than sure. in the middle of it. True. Yeah. So like, if if it were to happen, I don't think it'll happen in five. If anything, yeah. it'll happen in six. Yeah, but still, it's it. The concept is something that I think will piss people a lot of people off. Because I mean, yeah. as much as people want to, who don't like Master Chief, I don't think that they would like it more if he died. Yeah. No. But coming mm -hmm. from just like a a story point of view. And the development that could happen with him dying, I think that's totally a viable option. That's totally interesting and creative and something that, that is like not a bad decision to make depending on how you do it. And I think at this point I have enough faith that they could do it justice, right? Like this character is a fucking big deal. So you could actually go somewhere with this. I mean, and you could even have like this like in five, and here's another. Here's my other theory that could happen. You could think he dies in five, and this is another thing that also this this could be good, really depending on how they do it, because it's like people want to criticize Halo that you know Halo Four was basically running USB USB port to USB port, and it didn't hold up very well. It, I mean, I I really enjoyed it, but it also wasn't quite didn't work on the same level that like Combat Evolved did, right? I hear you. So. If you got a lot of criticism, 
And in five, if they fucking jerk you around by being like, all right, well, he's fucking dead. See how much you feel about that. You want to criticize the story for whatever. It's like, well, here's what happened now. He, Master Chief's dead. How do you feel about that? If you're fucking upset, good. And there you go. That's my two cents about that. I got a question about Halo 4. I, I haven't played Halo 4. Yeah. Or Reach. Um, Reach doesn't matter. It's not canon. If you read uh, the book, the book is what happened. The game has nothing to do yeah. with it. Well, it's, then that is canon. No, the game is not canon. No, the game, oh, the game, the game, it, the game. It took three months for Reach to fall. In the book, it took a day. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yep. Well, all right then. Halo in Halo Four. All right now, Cor is Cortana still in Halo Four? Because I remember in Halo, Halo Three, she was like going through rampancy. No, no, no. In Halo Four, she's going through rampancy. Yeah. But she started to get it at the end of three, didn't she? Um, no, no, no. It was because um somehow the the, the flood the like grave mind was like since she's like based on a living computer, like a brain. That's how that she was created. Yeah. The grave mind was affecting her somehow. That's okay. why that she was going through those problems. But so in Halo Four they have in to Halo deal with Four, the yeah, she's been she's been um how what's the lifespan on AIs? I think it was six years. It's been six years. It's cause Master Chief has been floating in space on the no, in Amber Plaid or whatever. Oh in it yeah. And it, I'm not sure that was in Amber Clad, yeah. In Amber Clad for four years, so it's okay. been. Two, he was running around with her for two years, and then Cried four years later, he wakes up and she's like going rampancy. I was it only two years from the event, the events of one through three. Um, I believe so. No, no, it was it was kind of like one, but also there was some kind of like strain on her system from absorbing all of the Halo data. We're getting seriously geeking out yeah. in this geek cast, let me tell you. <laughs> and not only that, but she was also around before Halo 1. Yeah, yeah, for not like, very long. Though. Yeah, but like for long enough to... So she's probably 7 or 8 then by Halo 4. She's a, she's not 8, she's maybe 6 or 7. Okay. But so, she's at that limit. She's at the limit in Halo 4 for rampancy. Okay, so maybe that's what but you since... gotta do in Halo 5, is deal with Cortana. Don't anybody say anything. Anyway, <laughs> like... Um, the thing with, um, she's dealing with it in 4, uh -huh. and the, the thing that they, I'll tell you a little bit about it, they're trying, like, the, the way that they're talking about fixing her is that they gotta get her back to Dr. Dr. Halsey. Because since Cortana is a very unique AI, because she was made from a cloned human brain. So, yeah. they can't, they're, they're, there's, there's theoretically a way to do it, to fix her. Okay. Never mind, then. But, you know, that's the kind of it's kind of a new moot point in the Halo universe at this point now. People were there was also a theory that the new character was going to be Cortana in a suit, as if like the you know what I mean like a like a like a like a, like a, like a Molnir armor that was like connected. But it's like it's not it's no not. like they did with Edie and Mass Effect. That's what I was no. trying to get. Yeah. At. I was like trying to voice it, but I couldn't I get really the words. It, Edie was all right in Mass Effect, but like. When she in Mass Effect Three, when like once she started kind of developing a relationship with Joker, it kind of got weird. I don't know. I, I thought it, it kind of made. It was I kind of, of liked it the sound. I, yeah, I like. I never played it, but I was like, I like the sound of that. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it kind of. You know, she's got like that. That the the thing that Data's got going in Star Trek. Yeah, you know, an AI trying to be human. And Data definitely had human relations. Yeah, Tasha Yar. Anyway. <laughs> Well, that, that was the point of Data is that, like, he was really the most important person. He was the, he was the most human character. Yeah, he was the show. most human character in the next generation, which is I would say that he's the most important character, either Data or Worf. But yeah. I don't want I don't want to get into another. Yeah. <laughs> I think does anyone have anything else for E three? Because I think we'll bring this episode to a close because it's really. Really went on. Really went on. We have a lot of stuff to actually talk about. E three. Hmm. What's it stand for? What the fuck does it stand for? <laughs> yeah, like, I was eggs, thinking that the other day. Electronics, electronics Expo. More eggs. Electronics <laughs> something Expo. Oh, it's three E's! Yeah. I never knew! I'm looking e, it up. Three. Three E's. Meanwhile, Not Brady anymore. looks it up. I think we 
Electronic Entertainment Expo. Well, in case anyone ever wondered. All right. Well. Anyone else? Anyone else got anything? Anything? We clearly did not. We clearly didn't look at anything. I hope. I hope that's apparent. We want you to know that we know it. That we, that E3 exists. That we and did it not. No, 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 no. That we did not give E3 like enough coverage to talk about all the shit that's probably going on there. There's no, yeah. That's not our job. Well, that's debatable. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we're literally, literally on a podcast Ow. talking about geeky stuff. Geeking out. I think E3 is probably one of the biggest things to talk about. Yeah. Anyway, well, <laughs> I hope we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, until the next time, wait for that time. See ya. Bye. <laughs>